Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of Perfecting Ubel. And to get a better understanding of Ubel before I get into this episode, you should go back to episode 3. So you can get a better understanding. In this episode, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about Solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning, and why you shouldn't run them in your Ubel deck. So, Solemn Judgment, we all know that this card stops any Inherit Summon and Spells and Trap cards. So... I say this is a bad card to run in Ubel because just because it helps your life points and it's really easy to temporarily remove Ubel off the field just to swing at your life points and maybe potentially O2K you and just destroy you. So you shouldn't run Solemn Judgment just for that instance there. Of course, you want to stop cards like BLS and stuff like that, but it's not worth it when you can keep Ubel reoccurring over and over and over and over and over and not have to worry about your opponent leaving problem monsters on the field and have to think of oh man how am i going to get around this monster but you but as a ubel player you'd be like okay okay let's go to okay somebody's playing against chaos dragons the opponent your opponent summons five headed dragon and you're playing something like maybe um heroics or maybe like heroes or something you're like shit i can't get over the five-headed dragon, I don't have a card strong enough, and I don't have any traps or, or anything right now, I will be able to get it off the field. And as a Yuba player, you'd be like, okay, they summon five-headed dragon, and that's cool. Five-headed dragon, I'm not scared of five-headed dragon. I'm just going to summon Yuba. Yuba is going to blow five-headed dragon, or Ultimate Nightmare is just going to attack into five-headed dragon. And five-headed dragon says, oh, I can't be destroyed by any attribute but light monsters. But Yuba says, if I attack you, I destroy you with effect damage and not by battle. So you're going to take 5,000 damage directly and then you're going to lose your five headed dragon. So why would I waste a solemn judgment and a solemn warning on a dragon's mirror or their future fusion when I could just bring out Ubel and benefit off of them having a five headed dragon on the field when, and I can just either blow it up with terror or attack with ultimate nightmare and deal a shitload of damage directly to their life points. So, the like situations like that, you do not need Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning. Ubel is the only card you need, the only defense you need in the deck. Only defense you need in the deck. And then the rest of the deck is, the rest of your Ubel deck should be res revolved around like certain players and stuff. Because Ubel, again, is the only defense you need. Now, you can also count Call of the Hunted and Limb Reverse as your Solemn Warnings. And solemn judgments because what the reverse will do is bring back you bell what call it hunted will do is bring back you bell and stop your opponent from doing dirty stuff to you like destroying your life points and stuff like that i mean if your opponent blind msts your limb reverse your chain limb reverse you get you bell when you get you bell on the field um mst destroys limb reverse and you get terror and then there you go you have a dark hole on the field your opponent can't really do much about it Unless they overextend or do bad plays to try to get out the bill, which leaves them with lesser resources. And it makes it easier for you to do your plays because they have to waste up so many resources just to get you bell off the field. Same thing for Call of the Hunter. If your opponent chains, if your opponent activates MST, implied MST, your Call of the Hunter, you get Terror and you plus. You get a Dark Hole or potential Regeki on the field because your opponent decides to blind MST. If they heavy storm you, you plus. You chain call it a hunted. You get terror on the field. Potential dark hole over Geki. Same thing. I mean, damage gate is a potential, is the same thing, is the same principle as a solemn warning and solemn judgment in in the Ubel deck. Because if you take battle damage, yes. But then you get the special summon Ubel out of your graveyard from the damage you took. They can attack you with a freaking level eater and you still get a Ubel out of your graveyard because zero because zero zero attack that's how much Ubel has and you just get Ubel out of the graveyard even if they hit you with like a spirit reaper or something um damage condenser is the same thing as a solemn judgment and a solemn warning in the Ubel deck you take battle damage you get hit by a level eater spirit reaper okay you activate this card you discard the card and then you special summon Ubel straight from your deck and then it just stops your opponent from doing what they want it to do so that's those are more optimal optimal choices and using Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment and just crippling your life points dramatically. So, because Ubel handles everything for you. 
And that's pretty much it for this episode of Perfecting You, though. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what, um, a better understanding of Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning in the You, Bell deck. And better cards that you can put in the deck instead of Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning. You just need You, Bell to keep reoccurring to protect you. You don't need Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment to protect you. So, have, like, good luck with your You, Bell decks. Hope you have a better understanding. Kakashi Kao signing out.